You've got an other device, you've got an iOS device, how about transferring files between them? How about photos? How about videos? Hey guys, how's it going? This is Quoget, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer files between Android and iOS devices. So, let's get started. So this process is very easy once you learn it. So what you need to do is to download an app on both of iOS and Android device which is called Xender. It's a free app from Google Play Store and of course on App Store. So what you need to do is to go on Google Play Store as well on App Store and here on the search bar type Xender. And probably you see on the search bar on the search bar the app that you Xender app. So once you see it, click on it and you should go on this page. So what is called Xender app file transfer. So this is the log of the app in case you get lost. Are you doing download? What you need to So this is a pretty easy method to do once you learn it. What you need to do is to download an app called Xender on both of these devices. What you need to do is to go on Google Play Store as well on App Store and type here Xender on the search bar. Once you type Xender, the app will be on the first on the first one. So this is the name of the app. It, this, it has this logo and this is the name of it. It's a free app of course to download. This is a very easy method to do and of course it's free. So this is a very easy method to do and of course it's free. Once one So this is a very easy method once you learn it. What you need to do is to download the same This is a very This is a very easy method to do once you learn it. What you need to This is a very easy method to do once you learn it. What you need to do is download the same app called Xender on both of the devices. What you need to do is to go on Google Play Store as well on App Store and type on the search bar Xender. It should be the first app. This is the name of the app once you get lost. It has this logo. It's free app as I said previously and click download. Once you have downloaded this app, just click open. Op open the app on the same app uh, on the same phones. This takes some time to uh, download. And here click on the plus button. Click on connect iPhone. This takes some time to create a group. And here it says some instruction that you need to do to connect these both of these devices. So you can see you need to go to system settings on your iPhone, switch on Wi-Fi, select this network and then get back to send to Xender, tap on connect phone. So what you need to do is to go to settings, turn on Wi-Fi, connect to this network and then go back to Xender and click on connect iPhone. So what I'm going to do is to go back, as it says, I'm going to settings, then I'm going to Wi-Fi and then I'm going to click on this network on your might be a different network so this will take some time to connect once connected go back to, to Xender app uh, so there we go so here you need to click on connect phone so both of these devices right now are connected so what you can do is to send you can send actually photos videos and even apps between them but I have to mention that apps, if you send apps from Android to phone, they weren't going to work on iPhone and the vice versa. So I'm going to select a couple of photos I'm going to send. Once you have completed, once you have done by selecting photos, just click send. And photos we are, go are going to send to your Android device or your iPhone 
or from Android device to iPhone. So I send one photo from my Android iOS device to my Android device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on view. You can view your image by selecting a certain eye from here. You can do the same by, set, by sending a file from Android device to iPhone. I'm going to try to send this app from my Android device to my iPhone. But actually this is not going to work because this app is designed for Android, not for iOS. So once you send your file, you need to go to files. So as you can see here it says APK, which is only for Android platform. So I hope you find this very useful guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and forgot to, to tell you something. If you see this unfamiliar Android screen, it's because I'm using the, uh, the Nova Launcher, which is actually fastened at the uh, standard Android screen. You can download free from Google Play Store. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page of course. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch my latest videos and my latest activities. Thanks for watching guys and I'm gonna see you in my next video.